<laughs> very, very, very interesting conversation, especially coming from um, Ishan's former manager. <laughs> I like his angle. Yeah. But you see, if, if you say they should face the consequences, mm-hmm. for how long? Mm-hmm. You know, for how long? Is it 10 Some years? Indefinite. That, so, uh, good. That's where you even make my conversation a bit more sensible. Mm-hmm. Because according to Steve O, mm-hmm. should they lift the ban now? Mm-hmm. It will sound premature. Mm-hmm. And it will look as though they haven't been punished enough. Mm-hmm. So I wanted to find out from him what time would be appropriate for the ban to be lifted. Is it 10 years? Is it 20 years? Is that when he will feel that they've mm-hmm. suffered the consequence enough? In the board's own, you know, wisdom, mm-hmm. they put indefinite. Mm-hmm. Indefinite sounds like, you know, uh, crazy. But the truth is, it's even safer. Mm-hmm. Because indefinite can be lifted anytime. Yeah. Either far future mm-hmm. or near future. Yeah. Do you get it? Mm-hmm. So, based on that word or statement of indefinite suspension, it means that anytime they feel the people have suffered enough by way of consequences, mm-hmm. they could lift the ban. Mm-hmm. So, if they lift it now, the board wouldn't be wrong. If they lift it five years later, the board still wouldn't be wrong because they say indefinite. It doesn't say you're going to be banned for five years. Mm-hmm. Where if we come and sit here and say lift it now, you would say we are being unfair because the people in their own wisdom saw that what they did deserves five years of suffering or five years of facing the consequences. And we are now trying to curtail it by asking them to lift it when they've just done a year. Mm-hmm. But the people said indefinite. Mm-hmm. Let's just say when at any point in time they feel they need them to be back on, they could lift it. And I would suggest uh, they faced enough consequence in the hands of VGMA and the board. If there's anything at all, fortunately for us, the matter is in court. So court can proceed and give them whichever punishment that they will feel mm-hmm. they deserve. And that will even be more stringent as compared to what VGMA will. Because in any case, VGMA cannot come them in a room and say you can't move. Their freedom to move won't be curtailed. Mm-hmm. Their freedom to get to the studio to record won't be curtailed. Their freedom to even eat what they feel like eating wouldn't be taken away from them. But if the court, well, the matter is in court, so sure. I don't want to be pre, uh, no, you don't have to. pre-judgmental. Mm-hmm. But if the court finds it necessary that they keep them in the coop, mm-hmm. then that's even more stringent. So let's look at what the court will be doing more than what VGM. I feel once court has taken it up, VGM can lift the ban and let the guys you know, feel free to do what they do. Mm. Once the court has yes, taken once it the up. court has taken it up, because mm. that's where no. the mat- that's where the meat is. Mm. They are going to take the bigger yes, decision or the better yes, decision they are going to then. take the bigger, better decision, mm. the one that to reform them mm. or reform whoever is listening mm. or watching what's happening, mm. and not necessarily what VGMA would do or, or what VGMA board would do. Because truth be told, the VGMA board mm. and the entire VGMA scheme mm. is a business, mm-hmm. and everybody wants you know. Uh, uh, forward movement for their business. Now, if you if you ask me, when the guys were picked up, from that time till now, the the the, the light on the conversation around VGM has slowed down because yeah, uh, the shutter factor is is playing against them. The stone boy factor is playing against them. You need the numbers. Take it or leave it. If they are not included, numbers are going to be affected. Fortunately for us, we have the court who is dealing with the issue. So why don't you lift the ban? If mm-hmm. you lift it, these guys will come together. Mm-hmm. They will play a role. Even if they do not actively promote VGMA 2020, mm-hmm. VGMA 2020 will still have the bars because people will want to see their next move. Okay. You know, people mm-hmm. will want to see will Shatter promote it, will Stoneboy promote That whole, mm-hmm. you know, uh, uh, um, confusion. Bad. Or should I say that whole... Uh, conundrum. Conundrum. Mm-hmm. Oh, Chief Charles. Mm-hmm. Around it. Mm-hmm. will make the whole thing look good <laughs> in terms of numbers. So lift it. Kofi made a very important point. The timing. Mm -hmm. Yes, if you lift it now, the whole thing will look like you are lifting it for them to promote your business. But the truth is, you are actually lifting it for them to promote your business. That's that's the truth. You are not lifting (laughs) it. And it's not as if they don't need it. (laughs) They need it. They need it. You know, they need it. It's business. We all remember that, uh, I think during last year's awards, Mm. the CEO uh, had a sit-down with Shatawali. Yes, sir. We were not too sure what they discussed. Yes, sir. But then as much as they've had that sit-down with him, then Mm. it means that it was for the betterment of the scheme. Even after he had played no sitting. Mm -hmm. So when they lift it, whether or not the guys actively campaign, they are following, we'll talk about it, 
and that will generate a different bars or another bars altogether for VGMA 2020. Okay. So I am going for lifting of the ban. Mm -hmm. Timing might be wrong according to Kofi, but when you think business mm -hmm. and you think about the businessman as being selfish, when they lift it, they are going to get what they want. Because yes, if the businessman is selfish, whether you think it's a good move or not, I'm lifting it now so it can benefit my scheme. Mm. They will lift it. They should. All right. Thank you so much. I know Mason Levano, mm. Vibes in Five, Link up reloaded on this one. The Shatter and the Stone Boy Band. What advice can we also give to the board? Now, I heard uh, Robert Clark uh, 